Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Sky Factory 3. I hope you guys are all having a good day. I'm doing fantastic. Guys, last time we left off, we were working on getting our main reactor up and running for the base. Um, and I went to the um, the beneath, grabbed some more iron, got more quartz, uh, more yellorium, all kinds of goodies for us. And I think we might be able to finish it today. I also went to the nether and grabbed a couple more wither skulls. We're still short like 20 though. <laughs> We're still still pretty far away. Um, so the first thing that we need to do is we need to figure out uh, how many casings we need. I'm actually going to pick these up. Let me go ahead and take these. I'm taking these because uh, these are going to be crisscrossed. So we'll leave those for later. Um, so we need to finish the outside at least one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So we need at least nine more casings to get started. Plus the four for each side. So that's 16. Um, so that's like 25. Let's go ahead and make like probably 32. So casing you, you. So 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32. There we go. <clears throat> there we go. All right, so let's go ahead and put this stuff down. This reactor should produce quite a bit of uh, RF per tick. I'm actually going to go ahead and take a guess. I'm going to say that this reactor is going to produce 2,000 RF per tick. Or something very close to that. Okay. Now that we have that finished, now we need to... Um, we've already got the power tap. We've already got all of that stuff. So we don't have to worry about that just yet. What we do need to make is we need to make... I want to make reactor glass. I forget how to make it, though. So one reactor casing and glass. Okay. So let's go ahead and make some more reactor casings. <laughs> There we go, there we go, there we go. I'm making stuff that I don't even know what I'm making. What am I missing? Am I missing casings? Oh, I am missing casings. Okay, hold on. There we go, there we go, there we go. I'm out of glass. I'm out of glass. I thought I had more glass over here. Oh, I do. Hello. There we go. And so there's 32. Now, um, that's going to be quite a lot to fill this in. There we go. We'll put everything on the front side of this. So this will pretty much tell us how much we need for each one. Um, we have six left, so we need 28 glass per side. Everything is going to be in the front. So we need to make at least 56 more glass to finish the other two sides. There we go that in there all right more casings yeah we should probably just make a bunch of these make it until we run out let's stop it 21 should be enough i think put those away now reactor i'm gonna it's doing it again reactor So there's another 21. Wow, am I really that short? I must be out of glass again, right? Yeah. Okay. You. You. And there we go. There's 45. So what I think I'm going to do from here is because most of this is pretty common stuff. All we need to do is put uh, the fuel cells in, the rods in. Uh, things like that. Once we have all that done, then we can pretty much get ready to turn it on. And uh, from there, I'll cut back, I think, because for now, it's just it's pretty much simple from here on out. So I'll be back. OK, guys, I can now turn this reactor off So you off. Let's go ahead and steal all this stuff. Thank you, lady. And then we're going to need this. There we go. Hopefully that's all we need. I did get some yellow orium, so that should be good. All right. So I don't with this new reactor. This is extreme reactors. 
I don't know what like the defaults are, so I don't know like what's used for cooling. So I just use water. Uh, there we go. So that turned it into a reactor. Now let's get this, which will be a power tap that there. And let's get a coolant port and put that right there. Now, eventually, we'll probably change this because we'll want to make it automatic. So go ahead, put some fuels in there. Turn her on. That is not very much fuel in it right now. I can always find her. That doesn't seem right. Oh, no, that is. Oh, holy crap. So I was way off. Oh, my God. I thought it was going to make roughly 2,000 per tick. It's making 6,000 and climbing. Maybe even 7,000. How's cooling doing? That's really good, actually. It's making a gigantor load of uh, power. Okay, well, I think we're good. <laughs> I think we're okay, boys. Um, okay, so first things first, magnet mode is on. Let me go ahead and grab this stuff. It's really laggy over here. There we go. Grab the, let me grab it with this one, actually. Need that for the ender pearls. Need the power. Actually, I don't need that anymore. All right. So down here is going to need power. Um. So let's go up to the power tap. I hope this will just direct connect to that. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's all good now. That should have maybe lowered it. Dude, this thing is a beast. It's probably eating through fuel, though. Uh, it's only 0.3% depleted. That's not bad. That is not too shabby. Alright, so for now... Um, let's see. I'm just going to put you right here. Now, obviously, we're going to be doing uh, so much more than what we have right now, but... And put all those in there. So all of our AE stuff is now back and connected. And then... I there we go. So that should start taking that back in. I think I'm good to go. Put all that in there. Okay, so we are now on a controller set up instead. Which will use more power, but that's fine. I'm not worried about that. I'm trying to think about... Like, order of operations. What would be the first things that we would want to do? Um, well, machine automation is pretty important. We also need to get, like... I mean, there's so much stuff we need to do. Like, it really doesn't matter. Like, obviously, I want to get autocrafting set up. Um, hmm. What do I want to do first? Maybe let's try to make a little bit of autocrafting, shall we? So we would need some co-processing uh, units. So there's two of those. And then we need to make, I guess a 1K would work. 1K. So we would need this one, uh, 1K storage. So we need two more of those. One, two. And then you. One, two. So there's a little bit of auto crafting. Well, obviously, there's a way more to it than just this, but there we go. Then we're going to need a molecular assembler. Need two of those. What am I missing? Quartz glass. Need glass. I know exactly where I can get it, boys. There we go. All right. Two of those. All right, so molecular assemblers. There, there. One. What am I missing? Crafting table. Easy stuff, huh? Well, there we go. So there's two of those. Then I'm going to need interfaces. You, you. Two of those. Okay, so at least we got some very base tier crafting going on here. 
there we go. So now auto crafting is good. There is one other thing we are going to need to make, and that is a pattern interface. This guy, which means we need another crafting terminal. So that, uh, okay, so I'm missing the cores. The, I've got one of those, but I need this one. So I need Fluix Dust. Okay, so I need Charge Certus. So I need a charger. Charge Certus. Then I need Certus. You. I only need a couple pieces. Let's just, I'm probably going to go ahead and overmake it. There. This is so slow. <laughs> like, sitting here watching it, I'm like, oh my god, I'm so bored. Alright. There we go. That should be enough. Then we're going to need quartz. Oh no, we only have 1,700 quartz. Whatever are we going to do? Okay. So. Let's go ahead and turn magnet mode off. You, you, you. Do all your little poppy popcorn machine. That's what I like to call it. I like to call them the popcorn machines. So, actually, you know what? I'll probably go ahead and just do all three. Or all six, I mean. There we go. Okie dokie. Uh, you. There's the core. All right, so interface. No, we already got the interface. We need the pattern terminal. Pattern terminal. You, 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 you. So there's a terminal. Then we need that one. Which, dude, these crafting tables, I'm telling you. Crafting tables are going to be our demise. <laughs> we're going to be like, oh, we're about to save the world. Crafting tables missing. How dare you, crafting table? How dare you? There we go. Pattern interface donezo. So to traditionally, the first thing we should pattern is a pattern, right? That makes sense. So let's make a pattern to make a pattern to make a pattern pattern pattern. There we go. Pattern. You pattern to make a pattern clear that now pattern to make a pattern. There we go. There we go. There we go. Now, you know what we should probably do? Let's go over here now. I'm going to go ahead. Man, I wish I could vein mine these cables. That would be stupendous. Okay. Just grab, grab a little bit more. There we go. Actually, you know what? I'm probably going to need more than that. Let me just grab all this real fast. First thing we've got to get set up is we've got to get sort of like, uh, you know, when you're in school and you do math and they, they make you do order of operations. That's sort of what we got to do. We sort of got to get auto crafting set up. Then with auto crafting comes the need for dusts and things like that. Um, so for, with auto crafting, we are going to need you know, a working, working terminals and things like that. So I'm going to move these, put that right there. What is that? Crafting terminal in the front, this pattern terminal on that side. All right, then I'm going to put alloy and sag mill there. Do I have any other cable? I do indeed. I actually don't even need to worry about that. I need item conduit now. There we go. Okay, let's configure these real fast. Turn that one off. And then let's go. Boy, I will spank you. Push. Push. I don't think that's right. Push. There we go. You, you, you. That can be disabled. 
think I'm gonna have to break a block here real fast. And then insert. Okay, so that's done. Put uh, insert. Or no, 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 no. Extract. Extract. Okay. So, for example, with this setup here, say we want to make that quartz glass. We're going to need quartz dust. What happens when we make quartz dust? You never know. So, what we've got to do is um, we need two more interfaces. These guys. I really think I'm going to make the smaller ones. No, you know what? I'll make the big ones. It'll be fine. That means I need to make the cores. Boom. Uh, make four of those, and I'm gonna make two more of these. There we go. One, two. Just gotta make sure that the arrow is pointing downwards. I guess that'll work. There we go. Put those there. So I'm thinking the first two things that I absolutely want to make is going to be Certus Dust. So we need that, and then I'm gonna take Sand and make glass. Those will be the first two items that we make. So we'll need some patterns. Do do we'll need uh, two patterns. So I, once again, I'm missing quartz glass. Quartz. You, you. I should do it right there. So pattern two, go, go. All right, so now we've got two patterns. Now let's change that to furnace mode, sand, glass, boom. Clear those, Certus, dust, boom, go. Let's go ahead and clear that. So, uh, alloy smelter, we need the glass one there and dust there. So then, all we need to do now is make a pattern for the quartz glass recipe. Uh, let me go ahead and make another pattern real fast. Pattern. There we go. Quartz glass, you, uh, you, you. And finally, we now have pattern automation complete. So, for example, uh, let me see, do we have quartz glass in the system? Uh, we have 12 quartz glass in the system. So, pattern, it's going to be like, hey, you don't have any, so I'm going to make it. So, it's going to run through the system to make those. Maybe. Oh, I bet it already. You know what? I bet... Um, make quartz glass hold on yeah I made it I wanted to see the machines work is the problem so take all that um, quartz glass you you there we go that's what I wanted to see all right so here in a second yeah there we go so I made the four that we needed. Fantastic. Okay, guys. So one last thing before we probably call this episode a do. I want to... Essence. I want to see... By the way, you guys said that I made the wrong cores. I did make the wrong cores. Uh, I went ahead and just switched them out because for some reason I wasn't paying attention. If you hate me, hate me. That's going to happen. Sometimes I make mistakes. Uh, anyways, Essence. I want to make the Essence. You see and hold on uses there we go so i want to see uh if i can make any more supremium essence before i have to go off and fight nine thousand withers uses okay we're getting somewhere <laughs> uses so 31 that'll make a couple there we go uses so there's seven more. Um, so as far as essence goes, now we have eight Supreme Essence. I feel like I had more than that beforehand. Anyways, uh, we can now use that to do 
this. You at the very end. You. You. Do I have any more of those ingots? Did I make any more? So right now we're up to 15 Supremium Essence. We need five more. Uh, or Supremium Ingots. We need five more. That would be... Let's see. Every Wither Fight is one S or one Ingot. So we would need to do five Wither Fights. I'm not really worried about it too much just yet, though. Uh, on the other side of things, I want to make some Ender Chest. I want to make at least one set for now. Two of those. Let's go ahead and put these both down. Those, yeah, those are Soul Sand Chests. I want to make these ones... Do I have any flowers? Dandelions? Roses? Poppies, maybe? No poppies. Um, Yeah, I'll just grab blue. And we'll do here, 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 here. There we go. So those are empty. I'm going to need... Um an import bus you so let's go to make a sticky piston there we go there we go and import bus okay that's done let's go ahead pick this one up and i'll probably need a kit actually i can put it on top Ooh, getting fancy with it huh <laughs> that poor one cable right there Anyways, um, so this one, actually, that needs to be something different. Crap. Okay, let's put the cable back down. Uh, exp import bus, crafting terminal, pattern terminal. I need an export bus is what I need. I made the wrong one, Captain. There we go. Export. There we go. So we put the export there. Then, so this is going to auto fuel our uh, our reactor. There we go. So that's gonna start putting Eulorium inside of that sucker. So now we pick this one up and we go upstairs. Uh, I'm gonna need an item conduit. Item. Can I get an item conduit, sir? There we go. Uh, for the for I want to see how long this thing is. this thing has been running pretty much all episode and we have 1.4 percent depleted so it's decently efficient I think the cooling is what's really helping it any Hoosiers put that right there there okay I uh, need to get into the to the flow down to the flow extract insert so that's gonna start filling that beast up wonder how much is gonna go in there before it starts to oh no it's holy crap dude <laughs> with it when it's the fuel when it's full on fuel oh my god the core heat is like ridiculously hot though uh core heat is transferred to the casing Okay, I don't know what that... I guess that means that's how much it produces. Okay, so we're... Uh, um, we're making 13,000 RF per tick right now. Um, yeah, that's in a lot of power. Holy crap. We got to get like a quarry going soon or something. Anyways, I think that's probably going to do it for this episode, guys. I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you leave a like on it. Otherwise, I hope you all have a great day. This is I, Jevin. Peace out, everybody.